what we pride ourselves to be our freedom in the United States, especially or the, all capitalist societies, is that our freedom is we have the opportunity, we give you the opportunity to be who you want to be. If you work really hard, you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve and then you have the good life, to live the American dream. But it's all based upon that consciousness which supports the struggle, the struggle, the struggle, the trying to get somewhere, the achievement, the production and consumption. And that's the mass consciousness. The consciousness of the matrix that drives the matrix. So it's, it's very important to look at that, what really happened during the process of our own conditioning. What happened to our humanity, our nature. And, if, and then also ask yourself, what, what is really our nature? That's really where it begins. Beginning from, well, from within ourselves, be connected to our own nature, be connected to your nature. And in relationships we learn about the nature of another person. We connect with that nature. And through this we learn, through the experience, we get to know the other person, through which ultimately we get to know ourselves. And we all have evolved just to be the way we are. We all are that way. We have developed, developed our conscience, our thoughts, our awareness. We have developed as a result of our experiences. And the person we are is a result of that. And that applies for everyone. Because we all were born as we were born into a family, we were born into a culture, we were born into a consciousness. And we became conscious, we became aware of ourselves, and we learned lessons about who we are, lessons about this world. And so this, we become like this in our own nature, we develop our own nature, we evolve our own nature. That's part of the study I'm trying to point to here, you know, the importance of that. To so look at that for yourself. To see that from within yourself, your own pattern, your own nature. 